Hey everyone, my name is Peter Tsetsakos. I'm a multimedia producer and digital marketing specialist. This has been a great year for me professionally and I want to take a moment to highlight some of the equipment that I use in my content creation workflow. To be clear, this video is not going to delve into CPU or GPU performance benchmarks. I'm simply going to be showing some of the equipment that I use in my daily workflow for multimedia creation. So starting with the desktop case, I have an Asus Tough GT501. It's a huge tower, plenty of space to make custom configurations within. It's equipped with three 120 millimeter fans in the front and one 140 millimeter in the rear. And the CPU air cooler is a Corsair A500 with dual 120 millimeter fans. The GPU is an NVIDIA RTX 2070 Super. It works really well with my editing workflow. I can have four or five tracks stacked up with effects in my 4K sequences, and there will be no lag at half resolution playback. My CPU is an Intel i7-8700 that can be overclocked with six cores and 12 processors. Moving on to memory, I have 64 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte Samsung 970 EVO Plus, and an additional 500 gigabytes of SSD. Here below my monitor, I also have a four terabyte Buffalo drive station that I use mostly to backup files. For external hard drives, I use Transcend and Seagate, though I only travel with Transcend because of the military grade silicon rubber coating that provides extra protection. I have three 27 inch 4K Dell ultra sharp monitors. They are very color accurate and are great for color grading content. I use a Logic keyboard that's tailored for Premiere and After Effects editors, and it has five different levels of brightness for the keys, which is a nice plus. Probably the best thing in my editing arsenal is this custom-built Lenovo P73. It's fitted with an NVIDIA Quadro RTX GPU, and it's said to be the most powerful mobile workstation Lenovo has ever made. It weighs in at a whopping eight or nine pounds with the charger, making it not the easiest device to travel with, but it's well worth the trade-off for me personally. I'll go over a couple more things here. On the sound side, I use the Bose Companion 2, which are the best bang for your buck speakers in my opinion. And I use the Sony Pro MDR7506, which is a very common pair of headphones in the film and video industry. And last but not least for my mouse, well, it's just a regular old mouse. I hope this video was enjoyable. For anyone interested, I'm going to link my equipment in the video description, along with my website and contact details. Thanks for watching.